dear students in today's offline video lecture we will study about causes and impacts of ozone layer depletion so let's first go to causes and in causes first of all we have chlorofluorocarbons these chlorofluorocarbons these are the main cause of ozone layer depletion and these are released by soaps solvents spray aerosols then we have refrigerators air conditioners and these chlorofluorocarbons they when present in the atmosphere uh, they are broken down by uv radiations and thereby releasing chlorine atoms free radicals chlorine free radicals these chlorine free radicals uh, they react with ozone and destroy uh, it as we have discussed it in the previous lecture when we studied about ozone layer depletion so these chlorofluorocarbons these are the uh, main reason for ozone layer depletion and then second cause we have unregulated these rocket launches uh, so far as these are researchers say that the unregulated launching of rockets they result in much more depletion of ozone layer than cfcs do so if not controlled this might result in huge loss of ozone layer by the year 2050 so we have to control this uh, rocket launches so they are not uh, uh, to be let unregulated so their unregulation unregulated rocket launches they may result in much more ozone layer depletion than cfcs do so they are much more dangerous than chlorofluorocarbons and then we have nitrogenous compounds and nitrogenous compounds such as we have nitrogen dioxide nitrous oxide nitric oxide these are highly responsible for ozone layer depletion so we have to think at their concentration also uh, activities that release these uh, nitrogenous compounds we have to think on that and we have to limit those activities and then we have natural causes and in natural causes uh, that lead to depletion of ozone we have sun spots we have volcanic eruptions we have stratospheric winds uh, these also lead to depletion of ozone but it has been seen that only 2% uh, ozone layer depletion occurs due to natural causes and then we have consequences of ozone layer depletion so what happens if the ozone layer is depleted so their effects on animals uh, in animals direct exposure to uv radiations uh, will lead to skin and eye cancer in animals so if ozone layer is depleted uv radiations will more and more uv radiations will reach earth and they will cause skin and eye cancer in case of animals and not only skin and eye cancer but uh, tissue damage is also uh, there so tissues of animals will be also damaged by these uv radiations and then we have environment so this ozone layer depletion it affects environment also in the form of there will be minimal growth of plants and there will be minimal flowering in case of plants and this photosynthesis rate of photosynthesis it will be decreased due to ozone layer depletion due to this uh, due to the uh, due to more and more uh, incidence of these uv radiations and then we have marine life so effects on marine life are much more uh, than other environments so marine environment in marine life what happens phytoplanktons and zooplanktons they are greatly affected 
their lives are greatly affected being uh, sensitive organisms their tissues get damaged and uh, we see if this phytoplanktons or zooplanktons in marine environments are destroyed the organisms present in the lower food chain they will be also affected so it is not the case of only phytoplanktons and zooplanktons uh, it may uh, affect all the food chains that are dependent on these phytoplanktons and zoo can, uh, zooplanktons in case of aquatic environments so this was uh, all about causes and consequences of uh, this ozone layer depletion hope you have understood it uh, thank you and have a good day till next lecture